right, you might notice some changes here. Here's some 60% whiskey in case I need to swish and spit. So anyways, shall we? Uh, we're using stainless steel chopsticks so that we can... <laughs> it's so chunky. What's the whiskey? Um, the whiskey that I have is... Elements of... Is... Isle? I know there's a different way to pronounce this. Uh, Isle blended malt scotch whiskey, 59.3% per volume, full proof. What are the little, what are these? Male encapsulated and mallowed maltodextrin. Now I know what it is. See, it's safe to eat. All right, now the most important part, everybody. Teams! This is the sanitation teams. You know, if, if there's poison in it, the teams will actually change color. Never tried that before? It's quite tasty. It's pretty common with Korean ramen. Mayo's oil, vinegar, and egg, and so in order to dehydrate, we needed to bind it to a carrier, so when it hits the water, soluble maldextrin dissolves, but however it sticks to the fats, and the fats will immediately dissolve into water, even though it's like... Oh, okay, so it'll, it'll gradually get less chunky. I think it's already getting a little bit less chunky. I'm gonna do a smell test. It doesn't smell like it's bad. It smells like ramen. You know what this needs? Nutrition! That's what we're missing. Nice hiss. There we go. I got powder all over my desk. I look like I'm consuming powder via the nostrils. It's fine. How's the ramen? We're just about to start. Oh dear, oh jeez, oh no. Okay, let's put this in our mouth. <laughs> okay, here, I have, a, I have a mug here so that I can have the noodles over the mug. I got a bad feeling about this. It, it tastes like plastic. Let's take a sip of the, the broth. I'm not gonna swallow it just out of concern, but the plastic might've been the noodles being exposed to the, the plastic baggie, but the broth tastes, it's not bad. It actually tastes pretty decent. Like if it, if I didn't know it was mayo, it would taste kind of like a, a miso, miso salt broth. It actually tastes good. This actually is mayonnaise ramen. The only thing is, is that since it's been a couple months since Vite Ramen sent me this, I am not comfortable actually swallowing the food. Fudge, 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 fudge. Thank you, Vite Ramen, for making me actual instant mayonnaise ramen. Absolutely amazing. This actually, like, it tastes like a very nice white miso ramen with additional depth to it. The the mayo gives good oil to it, too. It's real. It is actually real. I'm going to move this over out of the way so that we can get to the real star of the show. So this is the hot and spicy mayo Nano Boost Vitali. It's carbonated. Here, I'm going to open it next to the microphone for you. Nice is. Oh my god, it's white! <laughs> oh god, it smells bad. <laughs> it's white! <laughs> Four different types of mayo. <laughs> Healthy, yeah, no, it's got nutrition. It's got nutrients in it, like what you need to... It, it, it'll quench ya. Okay. So this should be more drinkable because this is very fresh. There is Hellman's mayo, special mayo flavored oil, dehydrated mayo, and mayo powder. Wow! Here we go. It kind of smells like glue. Oh. <laughs> it's good! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, my eyes are watering. <laughs> Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it again. Gosh, it just oh, it's such an off-putting smell. Oh. <laughs> okay, I swallowed some of it. Mmm. How is it that foul? That's horrendous. You poured it, you gotta finish it. No. 